Good afternoon. My name's Anthony Cooper. I'm from Atlas Ocean Voyages, the Director of Sales on the West Coast. And it's an absolute pleasure to be here this afternoon to, uh, to work with Erin Smith from Cultivating Connections, um, your travel advisor. And um, I'm going to give you a bit of an update on Atlas Ocean Voyages. We're a brand new cruise line. Um, talk you through uh, what Atlas has to offer and the places that we'll be going and uh, some offers that uh, we'll be able to extend to you as well. So uh, again, it's a great pleasure to, uh, to join you this afternoon. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my face as you don't need to look at me uh, because it'll only distract from the beautiful images I'm going to show you this afternoon on Atlas Ocean Voyages. So uh, you may not have heard of us. We are a brand new cruise line. Uh, we've been in the uh, production stage for the last three years. Um, we uh, opened our office in North America in 2020, uh, January last year, and uh, we have our first sailing next month. So we're only about two weeks away from the inaugural sailing of Atlas Ocean Voyages brand new cruise ship, World Navigator. So today I'm going to give you a bit of an update uh, and inform you about who we are. We may be a cruise line that uh, you may consider for your next um, cruise vacation. So our head office is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. As I mentioned, we opened a year ago. We have our reservations team there, operations, marketing, sales team uh, is all based there in Fort Lauderdale. Um, we uh, are a brand new cruise line and we're an all-inclusive travel brand as well. So I, I have some slides to run through what we do include in our all-inclusive product. Uh, we call ourselves Lux Adventure and we're a small ship Lux Adventure Expedition Adventure Cruise Line. And I'll, I'll dip into a little bit more about what does that mean uh, throughout this presentation and be able to showcase our brand new ship, the World Navigator, it's finished the sea trials. Uh, all the staff are uh, busily uh, getting the ship ready for its all inaugural sailing on August the 4th in Athens. So uh, you may not have heard of Atlas Ocean Voyages, um, but uh, there is another cruise company, which is our parent company based in Europe, that is well known throughout Europe. Again, they're not overly well known in North America outside of the travel industry, um, but it's Mystic Invest Holdings. Now, Mystic Invest Holdings have been operating for 35 years in the cruise and travel business. Uh, they're based in Lisbon, Portugal, um, and they have been operating river cruises. Uh, they then went into uh, shipbuilding and created their own ships, and then they sold some ships through to other cruise lines, even operated some cruise ships for other cruise lines as well. Uh, they then branched into ocean cruising a, a few years ago and also into expedition cruising, and now for the first time they're opening up their first North American brand, Atlas Ocean Voyages, here in uh, Fort Lauderdale and um, we are happy to be welcoming guests on board the first ship very soon. Other than that, uh, the company's been operating five-star hotels and tour operating companies uh, throughout Europe and um, a wealth of experience and uh, a wealth of finance behind our parent company as well. So Lux Adventure, what does that mean? Well, uh, the cruise line, you know, we didn't want to go down the track of calling ourselves a luxury cruise line. Uh, we use the word Lux Adventure. We are luxury um, and we sit in that market because it's for guests that really do like to uh, travel in five-star comfort. They like flying business first-class premium economy. They like uh, staying at five-star hotels. They like nice food. They like high quality service but they're not necessarily looking for a cruise line that has formal nights and tuxedos and ball gowns because that really isn't us. We want to be luxes in luxury, uh, but we also want to be in adventure as well. So when it comes to uh, adventure, we have um, three different types of shore excursions, mild, moderate, and adventurous. And, you know, a, a, an introductory uh, shore excursion may be around uh, a historical event or the destination itself. Um, as an example, when we cruise into Istanbul in Turkey, we go to the Blue Mosque, we go to the Hague Sophia, we'll do a city tour, we'll, uh, we'll uh, go to the Tsar's Palace, we'll do incorporate lunch. We're very much a, a, a traditional shore excursion that goes for about six hours 
uh, then we return you to the ship in the afternoon. That's a, one example of what a traditional shore excursion would look like. An adventure shore excursion could be anything from whitewater rafting, uh, abseiling, hang gliding, parachuting, hot air ballooning, cave diving, scuba diving. So a, a lot of choices in the adventure field as optional extra shore excursions that we include um, in all the destinations that we go around the world. Now that doesn't uh, turn away people that uh, are not necessarily into that high level adventure because we have three different levels of shore excursions. For some people, an adventure could be uh, taking a city tour through a, 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 a Croatian uh, uh, city that uh, they've never been to before and really want to get into seeing the history and the culture and the diversity that that town offers. So uh, adventure can come in many different forms, but uh, that's what really does set Atlas Ocean Voyages apart. So we are all inclusive. So let me run through what the price of your cruise will include. Not only does it include your cruise and your accommodation and, and your meals, but it's also going to include round trip airfares from every port that we operate from as well. So uh, when it comes to uh, airfares, it's an economy class airfare that we offer all guests uh, to and from the ship, no matter where it is sailing around the world. Um, that operates out of 16 gateway cities across the United States and Canada and also includes your, uh, your transfers to and from the ship as well. Um, when it comes to uh, any guests that would like to upgrade to business class, we also have that option as well. So um, again, wherever the ship is going, if you'd like to upgrade to business class, we can accommodate the guests uh, that would like to pay the little bit extra to go up into business class for their, their travel as well. Also, uh, we include a shore excursion in every port that we go to. So your shore excursions are included. Um, when it comes to shore excursions, I mentioned before, multiple different choices. We'll produce a list of selected shore excursions that you can go on that are complementary. We'll also produce a list of adventure shore excursions that are optional extra that you can take uh, in many different ports as, as well. We're generally in ports of call for a long period of time. We arrive early in the morning, we leave late at night, sometimes after dinner, sometimes midnight. Sometimes we overnight and stay for two days in a particular port. So there's always going to be time to look at uh, additional shore excursions other than the included uh, shore excursions in all the ports that we go to. Now, when it comes back to airfares as well, not only are we including round trip airfares everywhere we go, but we also include um, Antarctica as a little bit different. We're in, get, taking it one step further by including a non-stop private charter jet service that will operate out of Orlando, Florida, direct into Ushuaia, where uh, from Ashwaia you will begin your Antarctic cruise vacation. If anybody that's ever tried to book flights down to uh, Ashwaia, generally it's a two or three flights, often an overnight is required, definitely changes of airports, and, and it's, a, it's a long journey to get down there. Uh, generally, uh, you know, you're looking at between 12 and, and, and 14, 16 hours to get, get yourself down to Ashwaia from North America. So we've decided to try and alleviate all of that pain by providing a private charter jet non-stop service from Orlando. Uh, it'll work out to be about a 10 hour flight. It's gonna be overnight and we'll fly every guest from the cities that they're in, in North America into Orlando, join our private charter jet service fly you down to Ashwaia and, uh, and receive that Atlas service, or even on the journey on the way down there. So uh, what else do we include in our all-inclusive product? Well, it's the uh, complimentary drinks, complimentary food. I've um, got some slides to show you what, what they'll include. We've got multiple different restaurants and, and room service. We're not charging any additional fees for any of our um, extra restaurants that we have on board. So it includes all the drinks and all the food that you'd like to uh, consume on, on board the ship. Uh, we've got Wi-Fi included as well. Everybody wants Wi-Fi these days. Everyone wants to stay connected when they go away. So we've, uh, we include that as well. Um, we're working with Loxitan uh, to provide our toiletry amenities for uh, in stateroom and suites. So all your bath amenities and uh, shampoos, conditioners and, and uh, lotions is provided uh, by Loxitan in your stateroom. Um, but the service for anyone that's staying in a suite. So if you're in a, booked into a suite, um, you will get a um, uh, butler service for, for, uh, for those guests. We're going to be green friendly, so definitely not going to be having any plastic water bottles on board the ship. So we'll actually have um, 
access to filtrated water and be giving every guest a stainless steel individual water bottle um, that you'll be able to fill up on the ship and, uh, and have with you at all times. Your gratuities are included. So um, we've built that into the, the price and you'll be able to uh, not have to worry about that. All your transfers are included. And the last one there, emergency evacuation insurance. And I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit more about what that is. It's not travel insurance. And, and we certainly recommend that you talk to uh, to Erin about getting travel insurance for your vacation. But when it comes to emergency evacuations, expedition cruise lines mandate that all guests have to purchase that as an optional, uh, as an additional um, insurance policy. It just means that when you're doing expedition cruising or, or when it, wherever you are around the world, if you injure yourself or get sick, um, this protects you against the cost of getting you to the nearest hospital or and as well getting you back to your home in, in North America as well. Example of that, if you're down in Antarctica, you slip on the ice, you injure a knee, uh, the doctor ascertains that you need to be uh, um, airlifted to a Ushuaia by helicopter, it could set you back around about $400,000 to get a helicopter to come down here, get you and medically evacuate you to uh, to the hospital back in Ushuaia. So emergency evacuation insurance is, is included for every guest, no pre-existing conditions, no age restrictions. Uh, every guest gets it and every guest is covered. Um, being an adventure uh, cruise line as well, we wanna make sure everybody has that peace of mind wherever they go with us around the world. So that's what's included in our all-inclusive uh, product. Let's take a look at the ship. Here's a deck plan. Uh, there is eight decks on board the ship. Uh, the ship is 10,000 tonne and has less than 200 guests. So we sit between 180 and 190 guests at any given time on board the ship. There's six uh, uh, decks available for the passengers. Uh, we do have some triple accommodation available in some of our categories. We do have two ADA accessible staterooms. Up on deck eight, we have the full jogging track. On deck seven is where we have our heated swimming pool, hot tubs, a lounging area. The guest accommodation is all on levels three, five, and six. Up the front of the ship, uh, because our company, Mystic Invest, builds the ships for us, we can make some tweaks and, and, and additions to it. And this is where we've decided to make a, a, a separate luxury treat, uh, tweet to the, to the design of the ship as well. Up the front of the ship, um, just under the bridge, we, uh, we've, there's an area that we are calling Water's Edge. It's, a, it's an observation area on deck five that uh, we're going to heat. So uh, it doesn't really matter if you're going to be in um, uh, Antarctica or the Arctic with icebergs and penguins floating past, or you're up against um, glaciers in Alaska or Norway uh, or Chile. You know, this area will be the best advantage place spot to uh, to be watching all the wildlife and wilderness pass by and we've created this area to be creature comfort luxury as well by making this area heated and nice uh, heated seats and nice heaters down there to make sure you kept nice and warm no matter where we're sailing around the world also uh, when it comes to entertainment we've got a full uh, showroom with over 200 seats in the showroom um, we have our uh, um, wellness program and day spa that will be run by Loxatan that's down on deck four. Um, and then on deck three, we have our Zodiac loading station, as well as our locker room and mud room. So in, in the mud room, uh, every guest gets their own um, private locker. Uh, that's where you can uh, keep your parker and keep, keep your winter gear, keep your boots down there so you're not having to drag that back to your, your suite or state room um, after you've come ashore from doing your expedition cruising. We keep it there in the uh, mud room. And again, before you go out every morning, we'll have a briefing in, in the showroom by the expedition team leader. We'll then uh, get you down to the mud room, uh, fit it in your jackets and your boots, and then you step straight out onto uh, uh, the Zodiac loading stations there on deck three. So we had many different types of accommodation that we've got on board the ship. So we do have uh, three different categories of suites. Now all of our suites have a separate living space and living room to your bedroom. Uh, the verandas or uh, the uh, suites all have double verandas as well. Um, we have uh, the main 
category is verandas. And we have two different type of verandas uh, state rooms available for you to choose from. A traditional veranda state room is the B1, B2 category. That's what you would imagine uh, cruising on any of the other cruise lines. You've got your bedroom, a glass panel doorway that leads out to your wooden balcony uh, where your deck chairs and your sun beds are. That's what we're calling our traditional uh, B1, B2 veranda state rooms. For guests that are looking for a little bit more a living space um, and not necessarily an outdoor balcony, uh, you may be attracted to our Horizon state rooms. They're the A1 and A2 category uh, verandas. So a Horizon state room is um, more living space. We've created the, the, the balcony into more living space, but then we have this glass panel and then a touch of a button the, uh, the top half of the glass panel comes down, giving you access to fresh ocean breeze. Uh, and the, press the button again, the glass panel goes back up again and uh, secures back into your, uh, your stateroom. So uh, different types of renders. I do have some images to show you in, in the, uh, the presentation of what they look like as well. Other than that, we do have a couple of deluxe uh, horizon and deluxe verandas that have a little bit more space. And the other category that uh, I, I want to talk to you about is our adventure state rooms. We only have a few of them and uh, we are going to be making some tweaks to those uh, state rooms in 22 and I'll tell you a little bit about that. But our adventure state rooms are ocean view state rooms. That's with a picture frame, uh, ocean glass panel, um, no verandas on those ones, uh, but they are our lead in price at the adventure ocean view state rooms. Um, when it comes to the suites, so let's uh, have a look at, uh, at one of them so you get a bit of an idea. So you've got your living space there on the left, on the right, you can see that uh, we have um, uh, the living space as well as the bedroom. When it comes to the bathroom, double vanity sinks, you've got separate bathtub and shower and uh, a separate doorway leading through to your uh, bathroom toilet. Um, this is a, a standard veranda. Um, uh, B1, B2 category. Uh, this is what you would imagine. You've got your glass panel door stepping out onto your balcony. Um, in your bedroom, um, we have the latest in technology, um, flat screen TVs, USB ports, um, green friendly. When you leave the room, the lights turn off. When you come back into the room, the lights turn on. Also for all of our guests um, in all state rooms and suites, no matter what category you're in, all guests get access to their own um, a privately stocked minibar. So before you cruise with us, you put in your recommendations and uh, what type of spirits, what type of wine, what type of drinks you'd like in, in your minibar. And that'll all be packed and, and set to your liking um, for your cruise vacation. And that's for everybody. On top of that, we mentioned um, Bluetooth connectivity to, uh, to all of the gadgets in the rooms. We also have um, a Wi-Fi connection for all guests throughout the ship and in your stateroom that's included as well. And this is one of our horizon rooms. You can see there, there's more living space, but at the touch of the button, that top half panel comes down, giving you access to fresh ocean breezes. We're seeing that the traditional verandas seem to be more popular in the warmer destinations, such as the Mediterranean, the Caribbean, and the horizon state rooms are becoming more popular in the colder destinations, such as Antarctica and over in Northern Europe in Iceland, Greenland, and the Arctic as well. And this is our lead-in category, the adventure state rooms, as I mentioned, you've got that picture frame uh, window um, leading out uh, side, giving you fresh natural light. Um, but we are making changes to these starting from April 22. These will be uh, converting four of these over to become solo suites. So uh, the best part about solo suites is the price. So the price of a solo suite for one person is the same price as one person on a lead-in veranda. We're not charging any single supplement prices. So for anybody that's looking to cruise solo um, and looking for adventure or expedition a luxury brand, you know we will be the only um, uh, cruise line in that market that we're providing our solo suites for our guests as well. They will sell out quickly. So make sure you talk to Erin about uh, one of these. Uh, the 22 sailings have just opened up and uh, these are available to book for from April 22 onwards. Some images around the ship. So this is the dome up on the observation lounge area. We'll be serving light lunches here as well in the afternoon. We'll be having some entertainment and into the evening after dinner, there'll be a, a piano bar set up 
up on the dome area as well. Uh, a look around the ship at um, some of the health and wellness programs. We've got our fully stocked gym. We mentioned Moxitan will be running our wellness program as well as our day spa. You can see there the heated uh, swimming pool as well as uh, some of the jacuzzis on, uh, on board the ship. And Loxitan's day spa, um, and the sauna there, and uh, the waiting room, and uh, different types of treatments uh, that they'll be offering in the in the day spa. When it comes to entertainment as well, uh, you're not going to be selecting Atlas Ocean Voyages, expecting to have 30-piece Broadway show and a, a full orchestra. You know, when uh, when the ship is at 10,000 ton and we only have 180. Uh, uh, guests and 180 staff, you know, we will be having uh, our entertainment on a different level. So not to say uh, uh, this level of entertainment will certainly be more personalized. Um, we will have our crew band on board. Um, we will have our entertainers on board. We'll be taking on additional uh, variety acts and entertainment at different ports of call that we go to. So we keep our entertainment fresh, but we're also taking on guest conversationalists. So this is throughout the cruise we'll be having multiple different guest conversationalists who will come on board the ship and will talk to you in, in our showroom and give you give lectures but those uh, people will actually stay on board the ship and you'll be able to have one-on-one -on -one engagement with them now this could be anything from historians um, people wanting to talk about uh, politics history the destination we're going to animals wildlife wilderness um, and different experts in, in certain fields. So uh, always good to have our guest conversationalists on board and, uh, and, and work as another form of entertainment on board the ship. On top of that, we do have our piano bar um, and uh, Ashley Tamara Davis is, uh, is also going to be uh, performing for the first few months on board our ship. She's a Grammy Award winner. She was also a finalist in the voice competition a couple of years ago. So she's going to be working with us um, on uh, in 2021's cruises as well. When it comes to eating, I mentioned before, we don't uh, charge any extra for any of our restaurants. So even all our specialty restaurants are all included as well as complimentary 24 seven room service. So uh, the main restaurant will be called Porto. Uh, there's no reservations required and there's no dress standard regulations in there as well. So, you know, we, we won't be having formal nights. Uh, we only ask for smart casual um, and certainly, um, you know, uh, the ability to not have to make reservations in the main restaurant is certainly a, a plus as well. You come when you want to eat um, uh, with whoever you would like to eat with and we certainly can make that happen. Other restaurants we have seven aft, which will be like an American uh, grill restaurant, uh, steak chop house restaurant. Uh, Alma will be the Portuguese heritage restaurant on board. Uh, the Dome will be serving light lunches and afternoon teas there as well. Paula's Pantry will be our grab and go uh, area down by the swimming pool. Uh, you'll be able to go and pick up sandwiches, salads, light lunches, snacks, specialty coffees can be made for you down there, smoothies. So uh, we'll have that area open um, from mid morning onwards. And then uh, Journeys is another restaurant uh, that we're looking to, uh, to have as an alternative restaurant as well. So where do our ships sail to and where are we going to be going? So um, we certainly be going to some extraordinary destinations, some unique itineraries. Um, you know, this ship is going to be going to places that um, may not have had any other cruise ships called to before. The, the best advantage of this ship as well is the size at 10,000 ton, we can get into places that other cruise ships can't go to. A good example of that, when we're cruising in London, now 99% of the cruise ships that cruise to London start their uh, cruise or end their cruise from Southampton, which is about a 90 minute drive out of downtown London to get to the cruise terminal. Not for Atlas though, you know, at 10,000 ton, we sail uh, right up the Thames River. We dock right under the Tower Bridge at the HMS Belfast. And, and there you are downtown London. We're actually be starting that cruise in London as an overnight in London. So you'll come on board, check in right at downtown London at the Tower Bridge, enabling you to be able to go and experience the, the city of London and uh, not have to have any additional cost of accommodation. You come straight back to the ship because we're right there in, in London itself at the Tower Bridge. So, you know, having that smaller ship definitely has a lot of advantages and uniqueness to, uh, to cruising. Uh, we do do our expedition cruising as well. And, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about what that includes. 
So let's start off the uh, the maiden season, uh, August 2021. Um, we'll be sailing uh, out of the Greek islands from Athens. Um, the ship will be going down to do uh, some Greek islands and Egypt itineraries. Uh, we'll then come back to the Western Med and be sailing from Athens across to Rome, and then another one from Rome across to Lisbon. From Lisbon, we do our transatlantic crossing down to Barbados in the Caribbean in October. We'll arrive in the Caribbean. Uh, we have a 10 night sailing down there in the, the Southern Caribbean uh, region. Some beautiful little islands and beautiful beaches that we'll be going to, having some barbecues on the beach and uh, unique experiences with all the uh, zodiacs and uh, paddle boards and kayaks that we have on board for our guests to experience the Caribbean in a unique way. From there, we'll head down to South America, down to Ushuaia in Antarctica, where we'll commence our three month um, South, uh, South America Antarctic um, cruises. We'll be operating nine and 12 night sailings down into Antarctica through until March uh, 2022, and then the ship will change to our 22 uh, deployment. So we'll go from Ushuaia again, back up through South America to Buenos Aires and Rio. Uh, from there, we're going to go from Rio across to Lisbon. Um, in Europe, then we're going to head into the Mediterranean in around May. Um, when we're down in the Mediterranean, we'll have a unique itinerary that the ship will actually be doing an overnight uh, stay in Nice for the Monte Carlo Grand Prix. So for anybody that's a Grand Prix uh, lover, that could be an itinerary that you'd like to go to. You know, it's very hard to get accommodation in Nice and, and, and Monaco and Monte Carlo for that for that event. So uh, having the ship dock right there in the harbour, we'll be uh, uh, taking all the guests across during the day to the race and uh, to the events that are going on. So that could be a unique itinerary that you might look, want to look at. From there, we're going across to the British Isles. We're going to do a circumnavigation of the British Isles, starting in downtown London that I mentioned. That cruise is going to be targeted or, or, or combined in with golf packages. So uh, any golfers, uh, you may be interested in the British Isles cruise as well. We're going to be within about 30 minutes of some uh, world famous golf courses that you'll be able to go to. Uh, that cruise also goes in up through Edinburgh um, in Scotland, where we'll actually be in Edinburgh for the Edinburgh military tattoo as well. So some, again, some unique itineraries that we've created uh, for you. From there, we head uh, to Norway, Iceland, Greenland, and right up into the North Cape of uh, the Arctic as well. So for those that are uh, definitely got on their bucket list, Norway's and uh, the fjords up there and, and beautiful Iceland and Greenland, um, some great itineraries for you. From there, we head into the, the Baltic. We're gonna operate out of Kiel in Germany. So we'll be going through the Kiel Canal, then heading up into the Baltic, going to uh, St. Petersburg with a couple of overnights there, uh, Stockholm. So uh, great Baltic cruise uh, itineraries for you. From there, we're gonna head back down to the Mediterranean and then uh, back to Lisbon and then Lisbon back across to um, the transatlantic, back to Barbados. From Barbados, we're gonna do some Central America itineraries um, from the Caribbean. Then we'll head through the Panama Canal, head down the west coast of uh, um, South America and arrive in Ashwire for the 22-23 Antarctic season as well. So that's our first ship. We're about to launch our second ship, World Traveller. So World Traveller's itineraries are about a month away um, and they will have a couple more different destinations throughout Europe. And then um, as well, we'll join um, World Navigator down in Antarctica for the 22-23 season as well. So when it comes to Antarctica, you know, we're spending a lot of time down there. So we're getting a lot of different questions of people that wanting to go down to Antarctica. So we'll be operating both a nine night cruise and 12 night cruise um, in our maiden season. Um, uh, we do actually have a very unique one-off cruise as well that will be happening uh, the 24th of November. We're actually going to be doing a solar eclipse Antarctica cruise. So the ship will actually be in the right place at the right time on the 4th of December. Uh, and uh, all guests will be able to uh, experience the uh, full solar eclipse of the sun on, uh, on that day, the 4th of December in Antarctica um, as well. So nine or 12 day uh, cruises um, from Ashwire. 
So uh, the ship is ice rated, which means it can cruise through up to a meter ice in, in uh, thickness. Uh, won't be a problem down in Antarctica, up in the Arctic. Um, certainly we'll be able to uh, push through the ice up through there. Um, we do have 18 Zodiacs on board the ship. So when it comes to Antarctica, we'll be able to get our guests uh, onto the ice and back onto the ship again uh, with ease, having 18 Zodiacs that carry 10 people each. Um, that's the, the, the best way to get ashore. We'll have our wilderness and uh, naturalist experts on board the ship with our expedition leader, um, getting the best uh, for your uh, Antarctic experience. Um, yeah, that's all included as well. So your, your, your launches and your, your experiences and tours across on the ice um, are all created for you. The best thing about cruising with Atlas Ocean Voyages as well down there is the, the ability that we get you two landings a day. So most cruise lines, you know, you can only stop and get off the ship if your ship holds less than 400 guests. More than 400 guests, you sail through the beautiful Antarctic waters, but you don't get to get off the ship. If you're on a ship that has between 200 guests and 400 guests, you get to get off the ship once a day because you would go in groups of 100 people at a time. Being on uh, World Navigator Atlas Ocean Voyages, we'll have only 180 guests. So we're actually going to be arranging for two landings a day. So you're going to get twice as many opportunities to go ashore with Atlas than you would with cruise ships that are uh, between two and 400 guests as well. We're giving every guest their own personal parker that'll be waiting for them on board the ship, keep you nice and warm when you're down there in Antarctica, even though it's summer. We're providing your knee mud boots that we call uh, the, the mud boots. Um, and that's for when you go ashore in Antarctica. Um, we have to sterilize them and clean them um, before you go ashore. And then again, when you leave Antarctica and come back to the ship, we go through a process of sterilization and cleaning those boots to make sure that we leave Antarctica as, as pristine as we possibly can. The mud boots stay with us at the end of the cruise. The park is yours to keep and take back uh, to America at the end of the cruise. On top of that, all guests will get their own personalized binoculars. Um, again, they're yours to use whilst on the cruise uh, and will remain on the ship at the end of the cruise. So the, uh, the, the different itineraries um, that we do offer, we've got that nine night sailing uh, round trip from Ushuaia. We have the, uh, the 12 night sailing, which gets you across the Arctic circle um, and a little bit more extra time down in Antarctica. And that one off sailing that we have is the solar eclipse cruise um, that uh, will be in the right place at the right time, uh, leaving on November 28th. Our expedition team is, uh, has all been employed and uh, preparing for our first Antarctic season led by our expedition team leader, leader Henry Wolf. Um, our photographers have been uh, selected. We'll have different wildlife people on board, experts in different fields. Uh, astronomer will be, uh, um, will be coming with us for our uh, solar eclipse cruise as well, but we'll be on uh, all of our Antarctic cruises to be able to make sure that you get the best of your experience looking at the stars, looking at the animals, or uh, just looking at the wildlife and wilderness. All those experts will be on board to help you uh, get the best out of your Antarctic experience which leads us back to how we get you down there. So I uh, just wanted to touch a, a few more points on our private chartered jet service that we're operating. So all guests that are actually going to be booked in a suite will actually fly with us in our business class section of the plane. All other guests will be in economy class, but we'll be providing business class service for all the guests on board the ship, uh, on board the aircraft, which means Business class meals, hot cooked meals will be provided for all of our guests. Uh, full open bar will be, uh, be provided for all of our guests. Um, lots of room to spread out. There's uh, you know, only 180 maximum people on this plane that can hold over 300 people. So lots of space on the plane. No limits of uh, carry on baggage or, or check baggage as well. We'll be able to accommodate everybody's needs. And um, every guest will also get their own set of pajamas. Uh, which you normally get in business class or first class. We're providing that for every guest on board the, uh, the flight down there and back because it's an overnight service. So uh, just before you go off on your journey, you know that you really know that your, um, your, your cruise is about to start when you get your documentations. Uh, generally, cruise lines email them to you. We're going to FedEx them and uh, not only FedEx your documentations, they're going to arrive in these beautiful leather bound document holders. Uh, every guest will get their own stainless steel personalized engraved 
uh, luggage tag um, with your name on it. Uh, we're engraving that for you. And you can see there, you can have these uh, wire connections that uh, will, will hold your stainless steel baggage tag and uh, connect to your, to your luggage. Um, your full documentation will be in there with all the flight details, all the shore excursions that you've already booked, all the optional shore excursions that you can book as well, um, where the ship is going, a, a letter from the captain, a letter from the president of the company and your own personalized stationery there. And we're gonna FedEx that to you about 30 days before you head off on your Atlas Ocean cruise as well. So uh, just want to leave you with one last thing. You know, we don't want to do a presentation and, uh, and not tell you a deal that we currently have available. So for any of our guests that are looking at doing a cruise, at the moment, we're actually offering business class fare upgrade or the opportunity to save about 30% um, with $7,000 savings on these cruises. Um, I just want to again thank Erin um, for organising today's presentation. Um, we would certainly say reach out to Erin if you've got further questions. Um, please reach out to Erin if you'd like to, uh, to make a booking. Um, currently, we're only asking for a deposit of $500 per person um, and then final payments due 90 days before sailing. So uh, whether you're looking to cruise in the next few months, um, those great deals with free business class for any sailings between August the 4th and October the 4th, um, or you're looking at a 22 itinerary, um, please reach out to Erin. She's happy to, uh, to get more information to you. Um, or if there's more questions, she certainly can feed them back to me and I can get back to you with answers to certain questions you have. Thanks for the opportunity to share and showcase the brand new cruise line Atlas Ocean Voyages. It may be for you and um, we hope to be able to welcome you on board soon. Thank you for your time today.